Have you got a pair of headphones at home that you wish had a microphone on so you could use them for gaming or conference calls? If that's the case, I've got the answer for you in this video. Hello, welcome back to David Talking Tech and Audio. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Now is as good a time as any to do it. And if you're liking these videos, maybe you could give me a like as well. It really does help me out and lets the channel grow as well. So we're all getting used to the fact that we've got a lot of Zoom or FaceTime calls to make, family, friends, business, whatever it is. We're all spending a lot of time on conference calls. Maybe you're a gamer as well and enjoy a little bit of gaming in the evening. So the solution I've got for you this week is if you've got a pair of headphones at home, but no mic. Rather than going to the expense of going out and buying a brand new pair of gaming headphones, Sahara Mike have sent me these through for review. It's not a paid for video, there's no sponsorship, so it's going to be an honest review that you get and they've not asked to see the video before you see it. In this video, I'm going to show you what you get inside of the box and also I'm going to be going through the setup and the quality of the audio. And just so you know, the audio you hear on the unboxing was actually from this microphone. What I did was did the unboxing and then I overdubbed it using the mic through Adobe Audition so you can hear the quality of the mic. So let's go and take a look what we get inside of this case, shall we? Let's take a look inside of the box of this SD2420 mic then. Don't forget if you're going to use this on a MacBook, you're going to need to get yourself a USB Type-C adapter. There's a hard case inside the box, slightly padded. It's got the Sahara Gaming logo on it. If we unzip the case, obviously to one side you have the microphone itself. And then over here, you've got a basic instruction leaflet, which we won't bother looking at who looks at instruction leaflets. And then in this bag, there looks to be a few spares. Uh, from what I can see, there's some spare 3M self-adhesive pads, which if you decide to use the microphone on one, two, three different pairs of headphones, you've got some spare self-adhesive pads, which is always handy to have. Also, you've got some cable tidies in the shape of an S, just to keep all the cables well managed and out of the way. And there's also a spare mechanism there, so you can leave it on a separate pair of headphones and literally move the mic from one pair to another. Undoing the Velcro cable tie, there's a three meter black cable on the mic itself. You've got one of the 3M pads there ready to use. At one end of the cable, you have got a 3.5 millimeter gold plated jack. And as I say, if you're gonna use that on a MacBook, don't forget to get yourself a USB Type-C adapter. And that is a mute switch, reasonably well engineered, quite clicky, and always useful to have a mute on these kind of things. So the cable being a decent length as well will be useful if it's going in an interface. Then you also get in the bag, something I got out a little bit earlier is a alcohol wipe, which is just useful for cleaning off any grease that you might have on the surface that you're gonna stick the microphones to. Then it really is as simple as taking the backing off there. A little tab might have been useful actually, just to help get that tab off, but you pull the red tab off the back of the self-adhesive backing. And then once you've cleaned the surface you're gonna use it on, you simply put the microphone into place and you are ready to go. The great thing of this, of course, is that if you've got any headphones at home, suddenly they become inbuilt with a microphone. So there's no need to go and replace an expensive pair of headphones to get a microphone on. This is a great idea. And let's uh, look at the quality of the mic inside Adobe Audition. Yep, yeah, it's coming in at 20,000 hertz, which is a lovely full range. I've bought microphones for much more money than this and never had that kind of range. So I'm impressed with that. Natively, uh, the loudness is coming in at around about minus 28 luffs, which gives you plenty of headroom to use in post. All in all, I'd say this is a really good solution for a problem that I didn't know was there. Most of us now are used to making online calls, be it on Teams, Zoom, Skype, if anybody still uses Skype, FaceTime, of course. But it gets around that problem of having to have yourself a USB mic or an expensive XLR type mic or going replacing headphones already got. This is a great solution. It gives another life to a pair of headphones you might well already have at home simply by putting a microphone on it, plugging it into the whatever interface or computer you've got and you are ready to go really good solution i'm happy with the sounds as well all in all i would say it's a good job done by sahara sahara gaming really have come up with a great idea at this price point add a microphone to a pair of headphones you've already got at home is a good workaround if you like the idea of it and want to add this microphone to your setup then pop on over to their website saharagaming.co.uk and on checkout Use the promotion code 20 Talking Tech, and you'll get 20% off the already really attractive price of this microphone. As I said on the unboxing, I was very impressed with the audio at the price point, and I don't think you can go wrong. It's going to be a great solution, as I say, if you've got a pair of headphones at home that you want to use for gaming 
or for conference calls, let me know in the comments, how do you see yourself using this most? Are you gonna be a gamer or are you gonna be talking to family, friends, or maybe even those dreaded Teams calls for business? Let me know, it'd be lovely to hear from you. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be talking about another microphone, the Rode NTG4 Plus that I'm using on this video right now. And if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.